Video Disclaimer Content on Wonderbar Crafts YouTube channel is intended for adults only. Due to the materials used, such as, but not limited to, glues, solvents, fabrics, papers, tools used, such as, but not limited to, punches, scissors, sewing machines, distress ink, acrylic paints, and techniques used, such as, but not limited to, gluing and sewing paper and fabrics. The tutorials, create and craft with me, flip throughs, and happy mail videos by Wonder Bar Crafts are not appropriate for children and or kids. This is children, viewers, under the age of 13 and should be followed by adults only. Some of the materials and tools used in the tutorials are considered toxic and unsafe. And those materials and or tools have or contain warnings not for use by children. For these reasons, Wonder Bar Crafts is an adult-only channel and provides no content intended for children and or kids. Furthermore, all projects created by Wonder Bar Crafts are intended for adult use only. Finished journals, paper crafts, and gifts created in these videos are not intended to be used or handled by children and or kids. Giveaways are not channel incentives. They are intended for Wonder Bar Crafts channel supporters appreciation and are not for anyone under the age of 18. Hi everyone, it's Denise with Wonder Bar Crafts. I'm back today to do some belly bands. Um, I had talked about uh, uh, doing a couple of these in my last video and I noticed this morning um, Crafty Cat Amy has um, posted one on belly bands too so I don't know it must just be that that clicker thing that you know osmosis that we all kind of share um, anyway um, I made these up a couple days ago I haven't had a chance to do a video on them because I've been avocado dying um, and uh, thank you Gail uh, she did some uh, beautiful beautiful um, envelope booklets journals uh, mini uh, journals using the six by nine avocado dyed envelopes so I have been avocado dying like crazy I did a whole batch yesterday and they're gone already or actually did them the day before and got them out and they sold out yesterday so my son my wonderful loving caring son is downstairs right now doing up um, some avocado dyeing for me while I can get some videos done he's so sweet to do that for me and yes I do pay him for that so <laughs> anyways I made a couple of these um, I made them so that you can slide them on any page you want you can put them wherever you like so they're not permanently affixed so you would just slide it on there use a paper clip to clip your stuff in place you have um, either side of the page to store stuff with and um, I did do a search but it wasn't a an elaborate search so I didn't see anything on them it's not that I'm the first one I'm sure other people have done these um, before but I didn't see anything on them doesn't mean they're, they haven't been done or whatever so I'm not claiming that they're mine or anything like that I don't think we should ever claim that they're just mine I mean you know I try to give credit where credit is due if I find it on someone else's video obviously but I mean it's just an idea you know what I mean everybody makes them different so anyways I pre-made a paper clip for this one that I want to do on camera they're very very simple I'm gonna use some of this um, craft paper that I got the that it is that um, my mind's eye that I got on Tuesday morning I think it's so cute I love these little sweater mittens they're so adorable and I think they go very very well in with um, Crafty Cat's Digital Her Letters to Santa. So um, I just wanted to make a couple of these up for the journal. I'm going to do, I have another project in mind I will do later. And if you noticed at the beginning of the video, um, there was a disclaimer. And I will talk a little bit about the FTC and the COPA at the end of the video because I know you guys are probably COPA'd out. <laughs> it's hard to cope with COPA <laughs> let me just say um, but I do want to express how I'm going with the channel what I'm planning on doing and um, to protect uh, you me and of course most importantly young children so um, 
anyways off that subject we'll talk about that later i want to get some crafting done because i am just i've been in my kitchen for days avocado dyeing and all these ideas have come up and i've written a bunch of them down and i just i just want to craft and i will probably do another video because tomorrow is thanksgiving i will try to get it uploaded and re and then do a release for it tomorrow or friday or something like that so anyways, all I want are two strips. Um, I made them the length of my um, the length of my paper, which is um, eight and a quarter. Okay, and I'm gonna do another one that is eight and a half. So, and then I made them. I think they're an inch. Yep, just about it. Yep, they're an inch. So I want to. Cut this an inch. And I once again apologize if you hear my little uber duber down there. It's apparently nap time. It seems to always be nap time when I am in my craft room. <laughs> and she, I, mean, I wish I could sleep like them. They just lay their little head down and boom, they're out. I mean, seconds. Me, I toss and turn. I got so many things growing through my head, like what I got to do tomorrow. What kind of projects can I do? Oh, I want to try this. Oh, I got to remember to watch that. <laughs> so anyway, all right. So my first one, this one is, I believe, eight. Uh, oh, eight. And almost... Um, well, almost eight and three eighths. I made it a little bit longer. So eight and three eighths. We'll go right about there. All right. So let's make sure that that's about the same length. It is. All right. And let me make sure that these are, yep, because sometimes I look at that thing and it'll say an inch and then I end up off. I don't know how. I don't know. I don't think any of these rulers are perfect. So then I want to go an inch and a half, but I'm going to go a little, almost to the, to the eight and five eighths. Not quite there, but I want enough so that I've got about a quarter inch on either side that I'm going to score. So, let's see. Make sure we've got enough here to Make sure I score it enough. Because otherwise it's going to be too long. Okay. Well, let me double check. So I'm just folding these down. And yeah, see, I folded it up took too much off that end. That's what I did last time. That's okay. Let me cut another piece because I want to make sure I've got plenty to grab a hold of and I can always use that piece for something else. So I didn't mean to tell you guys wrong. So I'm going to cut another inch piece and And 
let's see, the last one was that, and then I need a quarter inch on there, and a quarter inch. So I'm going to go to nine and an eighth is where I'm going to cut it. And then that way I should be able to do a quarter inch on this end, fold it down, and let's make sure. And that'll be a little bit more, but we just want to make sure that they are even on both sides. So this end is going to be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm just too excited to be in my, my craft room, let alone try to do my math. <laughs> okay. But you kind of get the idea. I mean, you, you don't even have to score it. You can fold it down. Just make sure both pieces here even up. And they do. And that they are the right width. Yep. Okay, so what I was thinking is... I want to take a little bit of this fuzzy, not that, um, this fuzzy yarn here and a little bit of, if I can find the end, some eyelash trim, red eyelash trim. Okay, I must have tucked it really good because I can't find the end. <laughs> never fails, right? Okay, Denise, what did you do with it? Normally, you can just give it a little tug and it pulls right out, but I guess I must have tucked it really well somewhere in here. Guys are probably laughing at me going it's probably right there Denise. okay maybe I won't use that <laughs> maybe I'll use a little bit of this with some eyelash trim then we can do that too okay I, well, I've got the end here I'm struggling today. It's probably because I have so many things on my brain. I just need to chill and relax. Come on, Denise. There, come on. Where is that end piece? It is, there it is. Finally. Goodness. How crazy is that? All right, I'm gonna measure it the length. I hope you guys are getting a really good laugh out of this, cause I know I am. I'm laughing at myself. Oh, <laughs> just like dur -dur -dur. having a day. I'm having a crafting moment, right? I think we've all been there. <laughs> Okay, and then I have some really pretty red eyelash trim that I want to use. So what I'm going to do is take that end of that, that roped part of the eyelash trim and take this end and just kind of twist it together a little bit. And then cut my end off. Do the same thing with this one. I hope I'm not pulling this out of camera. Okay. Ta-da! Okay. There we go. 
Now, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys or not, but I've had a large request for doilies lately, and if I do doilies, I don't normally. I will avocado dye them on like a special request, um, only because typically with my doilies, I, um, I use the very last bit of my dye so I don't waste it and I just soak my doilies in them and then I use them for shipping um, and so I don't normally do them but if that is something that you guys would like to see in the shop leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll certainly do what I can if it's a large enough request um, I will put them in the in the shop as a normal item um, if not, I will, of course, let you guys know. And if it is something you're interested in, just message me on my Etsy and uh, just let me know like what, you, what it is you're looking for, how many, what size. And I will certainly do what I can to accommodate and just do a special order that way. Um, either way, you know. Because I, I do know that sometimes, um, pull this up a little bit here. You want them, but sometimes, you know, you got to wait to get them. And I get that. And it's just nice to know that they're going to be there when I want them. But I just want to make sure that there is a large enough interest in them before I put them in the shop, so, okay, so I'm going to pull this down just a smidgen, there we go, make sure it all hits the glue, I just want a little fuzzy trim on there, there we go, and the same thing with this one, This one, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because it's ribbon after all, right? I mean, it's kind of fuzzy and it's ravelly and so it's okay if it doesn't get straight on and it's a little wavy. It'll be all right, I promise. kind of snip the ends off there. I kind of like the fuzziness that comes up off there. Okay. Clear up a little bit because otherwise I'll have little pieces stuck at me. Or stuck on me. <laughs> okay. And then I'll decorate the front here in a minute. But now I just want to glue my ends together. Make sure I'm going the right direction here. This is top and this is top. And if you hear noises in the background, that's my son downstairs. <laughs> if you hear beeping and all that, that's the oven going off and stuff. And okay. So now we have this cutesy little belly band, okay, and it just fits, all I do is just make sure that it's not glued together, all right, and typically while this is drying, I would do a, a paper clip real quick, you know, just so it's there, and I did use Crafty Cat's, um, Letters to Santa on this one. It's a little bit thinner, but that's okay. I wanted something that you could maybe write on or make a little note or something on. So, all right. Let's look at what do I have. I have a bunch of these little... I'm not... Like I said, I, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I have them from years before when I did. And so I've got a bunch of these stickers, which I did use over here. But let me find them. Oh, here they are. Okay. I like the little snowmen. I love snowmen. They're so cute. So, and then I got, um, these 
are kind of big for the cut, I think. So, I thought put a little snowman on there. Should we put lace or some cheesecloth maybe behind him? Yeah. I mean, because this one's got a little cheesecloth and this one's got a little lace. Well, we've done cheesecloth. So maybe let's find a little piece of red fabric like this one because it's got a little bit of green and it's got a little bit of sparkle and I thought we could put that there a little snowman on there what do you guys think yeah okay so before I do that let me I should have inked this before I put my fringe on but I'm gonna have blasters all over me <laughs> just gonna give it a little A little bit so not a whole lot of the black soot I don't want it too too dark so <laughs> I should have said this earlier and I apologize for not welcome back anyone who has been with me and welcome welcome to anyone new I normally don't wait that long to welcome people I apologize <laughs> I'm just so excited to be back in my craft room I'm telling you it is exciting I, I spent the week before, like almost two weekends, um, avocado dyeing in prep. <laughs> and then it got wiped out, so I did it again. And I was hoping to be wait, almost done with this journal by now. But, oh well, it is what it is, right? Um, Maybe we should put a little, oh yeah, the music paper too. I want to talk to you guys about music paper. I got, I bought a bunch of hymnals. Um, and as you can see, the patina on it is amazing. However, they won't take the avocado dye at all. I mean, literally, it do, it doesn't even turn it even a shade of salmon. So, but they're awesomely patinaed. So what I did was I took them apart and I put them in the store. So you can get uh, 10 signatures. So that's like 20 pieces, um, but 10 full signatures of this um it's vintage. Uh, most of them are from the 30s, 50s, and 60s. Um, and it's uh, all this, the hemnals, And they were paperback hemnals. So they are in the shop too. So if you're interested in anything like that. But I love that I am not going to have to do much with this. Because the patina is so awesome on it. I'm just looking to see if this is even like an option here. I was thinking maybe him that there and we'll take one of these guys out. Every time I see snowman, I, I think of that song, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> I don't want it to snow. I don't like shoveling it. It's pretty to look at. It is beautiful to look at, but I was thinking maybe we could do like that. Yeah, I like that. But as you can see, there's it's so patinaed and it, and it is very delicate. You don't have to do much to it. And the great thing is they're hemnals. They were in a um, church. No smoking, so the patina is not from smoking it is from um, a literal age so but on that note I do I did uh, order some different hymnals some actual Baptist hymnals like I had before that I was using I know crafty cat loves that paper that music paper <laughs> 
So I apologize that I don't have it in. Um, but like I said, I, I did pre-orders. There's pre-orders um, there in my shop for the um, the envelopes, 6 by 9 envelopes, which my son is working on now. Also for paper, which he's also working on now. <laughs> so um, let me make sure that stays here. And uh, so I'm, I'm taking pre-orders. They will be done and ready to ship out Friday because he's getting all that done today and obviously tomorrow's Thanksgiving so we can't ship tomorrow and happy Thanksgiving to everyone and um, so we are uh, doing that um, and as soon as I get the music paper in I will will be doing another die just for the music paper and probably some uh, other stuff to kind of get stocked up in the shop some back stock so I don't have to do pre-orders um, and as soon as that comes out I will let you guys know also the graph paper I did load the graph paper if you'll give me just a second I will show you what that looks like okay so you'll get a pack of 10 and it is graphed on one side and I love it it is lined on the other and um, I, I don't remember if I showed this on a previous video or not, but I'm loving it. Um, there are six plain sheets, and then I did put some that are patterned in here, like the polka dot, the diamond, the lines, and the dot matrix. The only thing about this graph paper is <laughs> that it's great for a traveler's notebook if you're going to go up you know hold it this way so you've got your lines um if you put it in a journal your lines are going to be this way but for me it doesn't really matter because typically if this this were to happen i would put pockets or something like that on this side of the paper but it is in the shop i have a large request and a lot of people ask me please 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 um, um before thanksgiving <laughs> so it is loaded um, and he is, I've got some, I've got like, I think there's 10 packs left in there right now. Um, but he is working on more, so there's more to come. Um, so if you, if you want to wait until after Thanksgiving to buy it or whatever, it, but it, it will be permanent, something permanent in my shop, provided I can still get the paper and it doesn't run, fall short, they sell out or they you know get rid of it or something hopefully not so but if you guys are curious i get this paper from walmart walmart did us at, at my walmart anyway they no longer carry the georgia pacific paper which is a bummer because now i have to order it online instead of getting it at walmart for my um, avocado dyed paper um so but not a problem it's always you know the great thing about online you can source it so i did that but they've replaced it with this pen and pen and ink i think is what it's called um and it's called a uh, planning paper and it's over there where all the other paper stuff is it comes in a pad um i think there's like 80 sheets to a pad and it would also obviously if it takes avocado dye it's going to do very well with tea and coffee so just so you guys know that's where I got it it's at it's at Walmart so anyways that is in the shop yay <laughs> so anyways here's our little belly band and we'll put these in the journal when we get some more stuff in the signatures done um, my next project I've got I want to do some flashcard stuff um, and so I'll probably do that next um, let me put these away and then we'll take a minute to talk a little bit about the FTC and the COPA issue. Okay, so as you guys I'm sure have heard, there are diff 10 different factors that, F that the FTC is going to look for to determine whether or not it is kid-directed. Um, um, there's been a lot of talk because there, ha there was panic. I panicked. I'm not monetized, but it still affected those of us that were not monetized. It affects us. Um, not only because you can still get fined, 
um, if you're saying that it's not intended for kids and they find that it is for kids. Um, and of course, I'm sure you guys have all heard all the different things. Um, the things that really concern me are is obviously the subject matter of the online service. Posting a, a header that says, you know, craft with me, create with me, um, you know, uh, painting today or something like that could attract a child. And when they talk about a child, obviously it is anyone under the age of 13. Um, videos, the visual content, you know, they're talking bright colors, that kind of thing. Um, I, I really feel like they're going to use a little common sense. Uh, YouTube, there is there is a an appeal process both through YouTube and through the FTC. Um, uh, so... Obviously, if they feel that it, it is child content, I have the opportunity to appeal. And that is something I will do. Um, there's also one about incentives. And I really think that what they mean by incentives is the incentive to uh, subscribe to somebody. You know, when people give those huge giveaways, they give away iPhones, all these other crazy things. Um, and yes, I think that that's what they mean by incentives. And since we do do giveaways on this channel... Um, there is a disclaimer on there. Those giveaways are not intended to attract more subbies. They are not. They are intended to give you that are already subscribed now uh, and appreciate something to show my appreciation to you. Does that attract other sub subscribers? It does because people want free things and they want giveaways and that's okay and that's fine. Um, but it, that was, that is not the intent. The intent is to show my appreciation to you for supporting me. Not only my videos, my crafting, but also my Etsy store. Um, so, and obviously there's some other things and ads and all that stuff. So that is why I have a disclaimer at the beginning. I've removed, and one of the other things they said could attract a child is music. So I... On this video, the start of it, I have removed all music on my intros and my my exit um, clips for my videos. So no more music, which is kind of a bummer because I kind of like having a little tune, you know. <laughs> but whatever, it is what it is. It protects me. It protects you. And most importantly, it is protecting children under the age of 13 um, from being able to view. Although... They are not, what I craft here is not for children. You never know. Um, and I would hate for a child to go and dig through mom or dad's, um, you know, hobby drawer or locker or whatever and do something that would, you know, hurt, hurt a child. So that is why that disclaimer is there. It is a little lengthy, but it needs to be there, in my opinion, um, to protect me and you and obviously young children under the age of 13 so um it's about a minute you can always skip through it <laughs> to get to the beginning of the video i will also put that disclaimer in my description um i am i'm not going to let this deter me i love this this is an outlet for me i am not monetized one day i hope to be but it's not important it's not like my number one top priority if it takes me six years to get to that point it takes me six years it's not something i'm worried about you know um i know there are other crafters they do depend on that and they use that revenue for other things to help support and if i get to that point obviously that's what it will also be intended to support other creators and other shops and things like that that's i feel it is important that you know you guys give us your time and you give to us the feedback for us to keep going and the, and the incentive and the support that we should also be giving back to you and other shop owners so and those that inspire to do the same and bring other art um, I will also be, um, after the new year, starting a new YouTube channel, um, or not a YouTube channel, I'm sorry, Facebook. I have a Facebook, but this one will be for Wonder Bar Crafts. I intend it to be a place where crafters can go, and without discrimination, I hope, that is my intent, 
that it not matter your religion, it not matter your um, your political stance, it not matter your race, color, creed, whatever. It's just a safe place for people to show their art. Um, it will. I will not allow uh, political, religious, or you know any kind of hate bickering anything like that against other people i just want it to be a safe place that people can show off their art what they do um they can show their videos um they can link to their videos their shops um i think it, i know that there are others out there doing it but i think the more that we give a, a larger platform for people to get their stuff out the better um because most of us are we are small businesses we um you know, we, we want it to get out there. We're not, I'm, I'm not looking to get big and name brand and some big name company take over my, that's not what it's about. It's about my individual art and getting it out and my creativity for me to, to have fun, you know, and put love into something and put love out into the world. And that's what I want to do. And I hope that that will inspire others to do the same thing as well. Um, and I want it to be a safe haven for, for everyone, you know, just just because someone is or is not religious or be, or they're, they have different religions from everyone else doesn't mean they're not artistic, it doesn't mean they don't have great ideas, and it doesn't mean that we should exclude them from the joy and love that they are trying to provide the world as well. So anyway, with that being said, that is where I am going with my COPA, with my channel, um, and hopefully this will be the last time you guys have to worry about it um i will my other videos you'll start to see some of them will come off i will be putting um taking the music off and putting that intro in so little by little they will come off the down side to that is my view um time and it will be reloaded like a new video so it's gonna kind of bring that down but i don't care at this point i would much rather be safe for everyone um, and just make sure that this is a, a place for adults or individuals over the age of 13 to have a place that they can um, get ideas and have fun and hopefully get inspired. So with that, I'm going to step off my soapbox and hopefully that will be the last we have to hear about that. <laughs> And um, I wish you guys all a wonderful Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm going to probably do another video. I'll load it. If you don't get a chance to watch it, go spend time with your family. If you have a minute and want to watch it, great. You know, if not, there's always Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whenever. Whenever you get to it, I'm not worried about it. Anyway, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, guys. Plenty of love, hugs, and blessings. Until next time, guys. Bye.